Hello, welcome to Yoga and Art. Um, I'm Palmjit. I am taking you through today's experience, this evening's experience. Um, I'm the community project producer at New Art Exchange, but also a yoga teacher as well. So I've got two hats on today. Um, so yoga and art is quite a unique experience um, where we'll start off with um, some really gentle, slow flow yoga to just relax us, calm the mind down, calm the body down. Um, and then we'll move into showing you a short film, which is a preview into Phoebe Boswell's exhibition, which is called Here. Normally, we would be doing this session in the building, but in these current times, we found a way of bringing this experience to you through live streaming online. Um, and then after we've watched the film, we'll go into a guided relaxation. Hopefully, you'll leave the session feeling calm and serene and feeling a sense of tranquility. So as we move through the session, do what feels right for you. So really listen to your body. Um, think about how all the moves feel for you. If you are in any pain, ease off. Take some of the variations and options that I might give you. Um, and if, you, if it still feels uncomfortable, just take a rest and join in with the next part of the sequence. So really listen to yourself and make sure you keep yourself safe as we work through the different postures and sequences today. So before I begin, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about how I came to planning the session today. So when I looked at Phoebe Boswell's exhibition, um, it's very much about the theme of home and belonging, and I began by thinking about what does home and belonging mean to me? And first I thought of a physical space, home as in the house that I live in. And then I began to reflect on that, that feeling a bit more deeply. And to my mind came a quote that I really, really love, a Maya Angelou quote. And that is, the ache for home lives in all of us. The safe place where we can go and not be questioned. So the ache for home lives in all of us. The safe place where we can, we can go and not be questioned. And that, for me, took me to a place where I began to think about being here, being home, as more of an emotional connection, an emotional state of being. So today's session will explore how we can find that sense of home, that sense of presence within ourselves. So it's a feeling that sits within our hearts, sits within our bodies, sits within our mind, and it's something we carry with us all the time. So even when the world gets chaotic, unpredictable, we can centre ourselves and find that sense of home within ourselves. So all the breath work, all the sequences that we go through today, we'll be exploring that sense of home that's internal, that tranquility that we can find, whatever is going on around us. So we're going to start by lying on the floor. So if you bring yourselves to having your knees bent and the soles of your feet should be roughly um, hip width apart. If that feels uncomfortable, you can take them wider. So it can be between hip width apart and shoulder width apart. Find your place there and place the feet firmly on the ground. And then take your back onto the ground as well. Resting your head on the floor. Place your hands on your belly. And if you want to, close your eyes or gaze up at the ceiling and soften your gaze if you prefer not to have your eyes closed. So just take the options that feel most comfortable for you right now in this moment. We're just going to begin by connecting with our breath. So as you're breathing in, take your full focus into your breathing. Feel yourself breathing in. And feel the belly expand as you fill, fill it with breath. And as you breathe out, feel the belly, feel the abdomen relax. And just keep that going. So you're breathing in, feeling the belly fill up with air. Gently, don't force this. And as you breathe out, feeling the belly relax. And just keep that going, focusing all your attention into your breath, into your breathing. And 
So this is called watching the breath. With all your focus on that sensation of breathing in and that sensation of breathing out. And you may find that your breathing settles into a rhythm as you focus on it. Now, as you breathe in, just breathe in like you are, through the nostrils, through the nose. And we're going to lengthen the exhale. So as you breathe out, you're letting the air out slower. And roughly, the exhale is about four or five longer than your inhale. So you breathe in as you have been. And as you breathe out, let the air out slower. So your exhale is, as I said, four or five seconds longer than your inhale. And during that longer exhale, just let your body release and soften into the floor. So check in with your body, your legs, your feet, your hips, your shoulders, your arms. And any place you feel like you might be holding on to any tightness, any tension, use that out breath, use the exhale to soften that area of your body. And if that release isn't coming straight away, don't worry about it. Just have that intention and it will come. And as you're breathing in and breathing out, also notice the feeling of your feet connected to the floor the soles of your feet placed on the floor, and all the other contact points between your body and the floor, your mat, your carpet underneath you. And notice the feeling of your head resting on the floor as well. And this moment of stillness that we're experiencing here helps us begin our movement practice from a place of feeling anchored, feeling grounded, feeling calm. Now release that breathing practice. You don't have to focus in on the breath with the same attention. We're going to take the attention into our toes and then lift your toes. Just lift your toes off the floor so you're giving the toes a really good stretch here, you're making space between the toes. And then place your toes back onto your mat, onto the ground. And we're going to do that again. So you just lift the toes, just the toes, it's a really subtle movement. Create some space between the toes. And then rest the toes, place them back onto the ground. Lovely. Okay. So you can take your hands off your belly now and stretch your legs out fully onto the floor. we have got a full body stretch here. So take the arms above you and all the way behind you and let the backs of the hands touch the floor behind you. Stretch through the toes, stretch through the fingers. Make yourself as tall and as long here as possible. Stretch the whole body. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're going to bring your legs back in. You're going to bend the knees, take your feet off the floor, bring your arms back over her head, and, and you're going to wrap your arms around your legs. Lift your head off the floor so you feel like your forehead is moving towards the knees. And you're going to squeeze in. You're going to squeeze all your muscles in. Make yourself as small as possible here. And this happens on the exhale. So as you squeeze your body in, you're breathing out. We'll do that again. So breathe in, stretch into that long, tall stretch, staying on the ground, arms behind you, back of the hands touching the floor. Stretch to the toes, stretch to the fingers. Enjoy this long, long stretch. And then as you exhale, you're bringing yourself into that closed position, knees bent, knees hugged in, arms wrapped around, Forehead moving towards the knees, so the head is lifting off the floor. 
And as you do this, engage your core muscles, engage your tummy muscles here as well, just to give you some strength as you move into this position. Hold here. And once more. So stretching out. Long, tall. Breathe in. Feel the air entering into your belly, entering into your body. And as you breathe out, all through the nose, tuck your knees in, lift your head off the floor, forehead towards your knees, into this small curled up position. And this is on the exhale. Great. Rest the head back down onto the floor. And then place your feet back onto the floor as well. We're going to do a couple of stretches with our legs and then we'll rise up to sitting. So if you start with your left leg, stretch the leg into the air so the sole of your foot faces up towards your ceiling. And you're holding on to the back of your leg with both hands. So you're just supporting the back of your leg by weaving the fingers together, hands clasped together. Keep a slight bend in your knee. Don't lock the knee joint in. And from here, just push your heel up towards the ceiling. And what you'll feel is a stretch through the back of the leg into the hamstring. So it's a subtle stretch, but it will just lengthen, lengthen out the muscles in the back of your leg. Keep breathing, and we'll hold this for another 10 seconds. Okay, almost there. And then bending the knee of your straightened leg, so the left knee, you're going to place your left ankle onto your right thigh. Reaching with your hands around the back of your right thigh, you're going to pull your right leg in, knee stays bent, head stays on the floor. You're going to pull your right leg in towards you and you'll feel a stretch in the left buttock area. And this, will, this is an important stretch for something we're going to do later. So hold that position here, allowing those muscles to stretch. So these muscles are stubborn. They take a bit of time to release. So we'll give this about 20 seconds. So while we're here, focus in on the breath, breathe in. And as you breathe out, Maybe put, put your attention into the area that we're stretching and use the exhale to help those muscles release. And make sure that the lower part of your right leg is relaxed. You're not holding on anyway. Just relax and make the lower part of your right leg heavy. Okay, I think that's roughly 20 seconds. Bringing, so come out of that, sort of unravel yourself out of that position, placing both feet back down onto the floor. And we'll switch over to the right leg. So all our attention goes into the right leg now. We'll start with that hamstring stretch, back of the leg, muscle stretch, straightening the leg, holding onto the back of the leg with both hands, clasp the fingers together. And then once you're here, push your heel up towards the ceiling, really gently. It's a really gentle movement, and you'll feel this subtle stretch to the back of the legs. So if you're feeling any tightness in those areas, this will really help lengthen out the muscles and release that tightness. Great. And then exactly the same, we're going to move into bending the knees placing your right ankle onto your left thigh, and then both hands reach around to the back of your left thigh, foot comes off the floor, and you're pulling in with your hands, you're pulling in your left leg in towards you and holding it there. And you'll feel the stretch now in the right buttock area there. And again, we'll hold it for 20 seconds roughly to help give those muscles time, time to ease out. So go back into thinking about your breath, breathe in, and as you breathe out, use that out breath to help 
the muscles relax. You can even imagine the breath entering into that area and then leaving that area, really focusing your breath work into the area that we're trying to stretch out. Okay, just a few more seconds. Brilliant. Okay, so come in slowly. Take your time. Just come out of that position. We're going to keep the knees bent, head on the floor. Wrap your arms around the legs. Now, if any reason that feels uncomfortable, you can just place your hands on each knee. That's fine as well. But otherwise, if you can, wrap your arms around your legs, head stays on the floor, and you're rocking your back from side to side, massaging out the lower back, which if you've spent a day sitting at your desk, doing lots of computer work, then this might help with any aches and pains that you have there. Okay. And then smoothly rolling over onto your side, doesn't matter which side, and rising up to sitting and crossing your legs. And if legs cross is an uncomfortable position for you, you can loosen that cross by moving the feet further forwards, or you can even have your legs stretched out in front of you. That's fine as well. And if you want to lean on a wall behind you or the sofa behind you, that's all fine as well. So just bring yourself to your comfortable seated position. Hands are on the knees. And re just relax the shoulders down. So you're sitting tall and strong for your spine. The shoulders are relaxed and your chin is parallel to the floor. And here we'll do, start off with some neck work. And then we'll move down to the shoulders and then we'll do some work with the rest of the spine as well. So beginning with the neck, just move the ear. It doesn't matter which side you start on, but move the ear down towards the shoulder and you'll feel the stretch in the opposite side of the neck. Hold that there. We're giving those muscles, again, time to release. And then very slowly, so it's a controlled movement, bring your head back through the center and go over towards the other side. So the stretch is now on the opposite side of the neck. And then from this position, bring your chin down to your chest. So drop the chin down. Let the weight of the head be heavy. Let gravity do the work here. And this gives you a subtle stretch at the back of your neck. So just try and relax that head as much as possible so the head does feel heavy. And that will extend the stretch that you're feeling in the back of your neck. Before you lift your head, engage your core muscles. So when I say the core muscles, it's your lower abdomen muscles and your pelvic floor muscles. So just ever so slightly pull them in. It's a really slight movement. And then lift your head up to that central position. From this central position, we're going to take our head from side to side. It's like you're doing a big no with your head. So we're twisting the neck. twisting it from side to side, and this will help squeeze out any tension in the neck muscles. So all of these neck movements we've done are really great if you've had a day at your computer. This will really help the whole sort of body to relax. Okay, and then bring your head back to center. We're gonna work down now and go down to the shoulders. So lift the shoulders up. Squeeze in here, so the shoulders are heading up towards the ears. Squeeze in, breathe in, hold your breath. And then as you sigh out, so now the exhale comes out through the mouth, <sighs> drop your shoulders down. We're gonna do that a few more times. So breathe in, hold the breath here on the squeeze. And then as you sigh out, <sighs> drop the shoulders down. One more time, so breathe in, sighing out. Drop the shoulders down, 
and hopefully they're feeling a little bit lower than they were a few seconds ago. Still staying with the shoulders, we're going to roll the shoulders backwards, so we're opening up this chest area. Again, focusing on any tightness that might be in those shoulders from a day of work or whatever you've been doing. And then reversing that, taking the shoulders forwards, taking it in the opposite direction. And even just with a few shoulder rolls, just those can really help, can make a big difference to how your shoulders feel at the end of the day. Okay, and then release the shoulders down, bring them to stillness. And now we're going to move the arms. So lifting the arms up so that the top of your arms are level with your shoulders. The elbows are bent. We'll do exactly the same on the other side. So both arms are raised. And then from this position, you're going to twist from left to right. From left to right. So it's an upper body twist. You'll feel this across your back. And once you've found your rhythm here, so you can move really steadily, really slowly. If you feel like you've got a bit of energy, you want to work out of your system, you can actually be quite dynamic and go quite fast from one side to the other. So pick your speed. And then once you've found your rhythm, add the breath. So you breathe into the left, breathe out to the right, all through your nose. Breathe into the left, out to the right. You can even close your eyes here so you can focus on your breathing, on your movement, really focus in on yourself. We'll keep this going for another 20 seconds. So this movement will feel quite energizing. It might bring a bit of energy into the body might help freshen the mind. Okay, and as we reach towards the end of those 20 seconds, those rough 20 seconds, slow the movement down. So it's almost like you're moving in slow motion. So if you've been moving fast, just take it to that slow motion pace. And then come to stillness. Keep the arms raised. Breathe in. Stretch the arms above you. Then as you breathe out through the nose, bring the arms out to the side and all the way down back onto your knees. Okay. So that's a lot of work that we've done on this upper area. We're now going to focus on the lower back and the hip area. So... Keep the hands on your knees. And this movement is like you're drawing a circle at the top of your head. So you sweep the body forwards and you take the body backwards. And it's a big rotation. So it's like you're drawing that circle. Start small, start small. Try and keep the head as still as possible because all the work, the movement is coming from the hips and from the lower back. Then, begin to extend the movement. So as your lower back releases, you can extend that movement. And I always say this is like a ripple of water, so that it starts small, and that ripple of water gets bigger and bigger. And once you've found your widest circle, just stay there. And if you'd like to, you can close your eyes. Close your eyes and allow yourself to feel the rhythm of you moving in this circular rotation, this circular movement. Just really zone into that, really focus on that. And this can feel like a moving meditation. And once you've found the rhythm of your movement, add the breath, so you breathe in as you come forwards, and you breathe out as you move backwards. Now, as you start to combine the breathing with the movement, you might find your circle the spiral that you're making starts to slow down. Let the breath lead so that as you breathe in, you're coming forwards, and as you naturally begin to exhale, you're moving backwards. Let the breath lead. And if it slows the movement down, that's fine. So we'll stay with this direction just for another three seconds. 
circles. And then begin to bring that ripple, that spiral in. Making your circle smaller and smaller and smaller until you find that center point back where we started. And this is where you feel balance between left and right. You feel absolutely in that center point, your still point. And pause here. Pause and take a breath in. And sigh out through the mouth. And settle into the center place. We're going to begin moving again, and this time we're going to move this ripple, this spiral, the circle, in the opposite direction, so balancing it out. So begin small. So again, imagine that you're drawing that circle at the top of your head. It's that ripple, so we start small, and then we take the movement wider, and wider until you found your widest circle. Hopefully, your lower back is feeling a bit looser now. And it's exactly the same. So as you breathe in, you're coming forwards. And as you breathe out, you're moving backwards. And if you feel comfortable with the movement, close your eyes. And treat this, like I said, like a moving meditation. Just absorb yourself, immerse yourself in this moment. All you need to focus on is your breath and the movement you're making with your upper body. So we'll just do another three more, staying with our widest circle. And then on the third one, begin to bring that circle in. So you're coming back into yourself. You're refinding that center point that you found so beautifully the first time around. Refine that center point, and once you feel like you're there, bring the movement to stillness. Again, feel balance between left and right. Settle into this place. Breathing in. And sighing out. We'll do one more breath, actually. So breathe in. And sigh out. Settle into this place. Be totally present with where you are. Be totally here. Okay, and if your eyes are closed, just very gently open your eyes. Stretch your legs out in front of you and give them a shake. If you've been in that seated position for quite a while, just give them a shake. Loosen up all the muscles. Okay. Brilliant, and then we're going to move on to all fours. So coming on to all fours, here we're making sure that our knees are lined up with our hips and our wrists are lined up with our shoulders. And your back is in a neutral position. So beginning in this neutral position, take all your attention to the base of your spine. And we're going to move into flowing cat. So the base of your spine, the lower spine, tucks under. And as you tuck under, you'll feel your abdominal muscles tightening in a bit here. And then round the back, let that movement travel through the spine, the middle of your spine, the top of your spine, the chin comes into the chest. And then we're going to reverse this movement. We're going to flex the spine in the opposite direction. So you push your tailbone away, you dip the belly, and do this really slowly so you can feel that transition. Chin rising and looking forwards. And then again, take your attention to the base of the spine. Tuck your chin, your base of your spine under, your tailbone under. And you'll feel your belly muscles contracting as you round the back, chin to chest. Hold here. 
and then push your tailbone away, dip the belly, head looks up, and then don't move your head up too high, keep the chin level with the floor, but your back is flexing in the opposite direction. Hold here, and then we'll do that one more time. So, as, take a breath in here, so breathe in, then as you breathe out, round the back and tuck your chin to your chest. And as you breathe in, dip the belly and the chin down. Beautiful. So now come to neutral position. Neutral position. That movement will have helped loosen up the whole of your back. Slowly sit back onto your heels. And what you're doing with your toes is you're moving your toes in together. The knees are going wide. You're sitting back on the heels and your arms are stretching out in front of you and you're resting your head between your arms. If you want to be a bit more comfortable in this position, you can grab a cushion and place it between your heels and your buttocks. You can also change the position of your arms. You can, have, you can make fists with your hands. You can rest your forehead onto your fists. You can even stack the fists up, one on top of the other, and put your forehead onto the tower of fists you've made here. So choose what works for you. There's a few options there. Choose what works for you. And again, we're going to stay here for about 20 seconds. And with the breath, as you breathe in through the nose, imagine you're filling the whole of your spine, all of your spine, right down to the base of your spine with breath. And as you breathe out, you're breathing out and you're feeling, you're using that exhale to help your back relax. Your back release into and settle into this position, just, just that tiny bit more. And just stay here, keep breathing. And hopefully with every exhale you take, you feel yourself moving deeper into this position. Lovely. Okay. Let the head rise and walk your hands just towards you. And as you walk your hands towards you, you're rising up sitting. Okay. So you'll be upright from here. Okay. And from here, tuck your toes under, come into a squat, knees bent. And we're slowly, slowly with the fingertips staying on the floor. We're slowly going to straighten the legs, bringing the whole of our feet down onto the floor as we straighten our legs and we're coming into a forward bend. To rise up to standing, we're going to bend the knees deeply and slowly uncurl the spine, very, very slowly, stacking your vertebrae up one on top of the other uncurl the spine, roll up to standing. And then once you're standing, roll your shoulders back. Keep those shoulders nice and loose. Just keep rolling them back. We'll do about three more. Lovely. And then settle the shoulders down. Bringing your feet to hip width apart. So letting the feet be firmly on the ground and bringing them to hip width apart. And again here, check that your knees aren't locked in. They've got a little bend to them. Your abdominal muscles are slightly engaged. Your shoulders are relaxed and your arms are relaxed by your side. So we're coming into, into Dasna, mountain position. Close your eyes here. Feel that sense of stillness and stability as you're standing. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Keep the jawline relaxed. Feel steady through the feet and the legs. And take a moment here just to adjust to standing up because we've been on the floor for quite a while. Okay, opening your eyes if you've closed them. And we're going to start with a bit of work just purely with our feet. So it's a subtle movement. You're going to shift the weight 
the front of your feet as if you're leaning forwards. It's really small, this movement. Keep your toes on the floor and your heels on the floor. Nothing about your feet are leaving the floor. And then shift your weight into your heels. And just keep repeating that so you're just swaying forwards and backwards, giving all those nerve endings and the soles of your feet a nice massage just with this simple movement, but it's a powerful movement. It will massage your feet. And just do a couple more. And then bring yourself to center. Feel that center place. Again, balance between left and right. You're feeling really honed in that center point. Okay, arms rise up and the elbows are bent and the palms are facing towards you. Now we've awakened our feet. We're gonna lift the heels off the floor and move in, into position where your toes are on the floor, your heels are off the floor, we're in a balance, and the arms are lifted, so the elbows are lifting. Then we're going to place the heels back on the floor, bend the knees, take the arms by our side, and then move slightly back past your hips. Okay, so swooping movement. Again, come onto your toes, rise up into that balance, lift your elbows up, this tall standing position, Bring the heels down and swoop the arms beside your hips and a bit further back and the knees are bent here. Okay, add the breathing. Breathe in, rise up. Breathe out, heels on the floor, swoop the arms behind you. Breathe in, rise up. And then coming down with your heels, breathe out, swoop the arms behind you. One last time, breathe in. Onto your toes, lift those elbows, breathe out, bring the arms beside you and then a little bit behind you. Okay, excellent. So come up to standing, keep the arms rising. They're going to stretch up into the air, stretch through the fingers. Lovely. And then keep your right arm in the air. The left arm is going to come underneath your belly button and there's a curve to the arm and the other arm that's still in the air is going to also have a curve to it as well keep the right arm in your vision do not take it too far back because that takes your spine out of alignment so just keep it in your vision stand firm with your feet hip width apart breathe in and as you breathe in extend that space between your hands slightly as if you're holding a giant ball that's expanding and as you breathe out, move into a side bend. And here you'll feel this beautiful stretch in the right side of your body. Okay, and then come into the middle. As you breathe in, you're gonna swap the arms over. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna side bend over to the other side. And we'll do a few repetitions. So breathe in, swap the arms over, come to center. Breathe out, side bend. And this top arm, you're taking over to the side that you're bending to. Okay, into the middle, swap arms, breathe in. Breathe out, over to the side. And again, breathing in, swap those arms over, it's like you're moving around a giant ball. Inhale, exhale into side bend. One more to each side, so breathe in. Arms rotate, then move around. Into that side bend. Let's hold that for a little bit longer here. Just hold it just a tiny bit longer. Come back into the middle. Swap the arms over. Inhale, exhale. Side bend over to the other side. And again, we're just going to hold it for a little bit longer. Rising up. And then relax your arms down and actually your hands are going to come onto the base of your spine both hands are flat onto the base of your spine and I'll demonstrate this to the side you can see so you can see what's happening so feet stay hip width apart and you tuck your chin into your chest push your shoulders back so you feel an arch in your back you feel a back bend happening here and then as so you breathe in here and then as you breathe out, you come into a forward bend. Just go really slowly, listen to what your back wants to do. 
keep her bend in your knees as you're coming into this forward bend and go as low as feels right for you so you might stop halfway that's fine you might want to go all the way down once you've reached your lowest point press through the feet bend your knees deeply and unroll uncurl up to standing okay chin rises last i'm going to do that all over again so tuck your chin in push your shoulders back you'll feel the shoulder blades squeezing together and then from this position you're hinging from the hips keeping your hands on your lower back hinging from the hips keep that bend in your knees go to the furthest forward bend that you can do that feels right for you today and then bend your knees deeply and uncurl your spine stack up the vertebrae chin rising last okay lovely find mountain position again and we'll place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly take a couple of deep breaths here so breathe in breathe out through the nose breathe in breathe out through the nose just stay here while I talk about the sequence that we're going to do next. So keep your hands exactly where they are and just keep breathing. We're going to move smoothly into a sequence that's called the earth sequence. There's a lot of repetition in this sequence and you might find that once you're comfortable with the movements, you'll, you can even take your eyes off the screen and just listen to my guidance. So the earth sequence is a sequence that's all about grounding, it's about anchoring, it's about settling the body and the repetition that we go through with our arms and the breath really help the nervous system to calm down because the nervous system loves repetition. So this sequence has a very Tai Chi, slow, slow feel about it. Beautiful to do in the evening to just unwind yourself and let the busy brain from the day's business, whatever you've been doing, settle. So keep the hand on the heart, keep the hand on the belly. Connect with your breath. And then the hand you've got on your heart comes down and you release the hand from your belly and both hands are facing upwards now. Fingertips are almost touching, but not quite. Okay, and then you lift the hands up to heart level. You breathe in as you do that and then you breathe out as you bend the knees and you push the hands down as you breathe in again you raise the arms above you the knees straighten and then you take the arms out to the side like you're drawing a circle around you and as you're doing that you're softening the knees again so there's quite a lot going on there but it will all start to fit together as we do the repetitions so breathe in let the hands rise to throat level breathe out push down bend the knees Breathe in, raise the arms above you. Then as you allow the arms to go out to the side, soften the knees and exhale. Breathing in, we'll start that all over again. Hands to throat level, push down, bend the knees, breathe out. Rising up to standing, let the arms rise up above you as you inhale. And then bend the knees, exhale as you slowly move the arms out to the side and back to the starting position. One more of this part of the sequence, breathing in, throat level with the hands, palms face up, push down, bend the knees, stay strong through your legs, bring the arms above you, inhale, standing tall, taking the arms out to the side, gentle bend in the knees as you do that, exhaling. Lovely, we're going to keep the arms going, but there's a variation coming up, so breathe in. And as you breathe out, so you're going to push down and create a deeper bend in the knees, going into a half squat, and you might want to stop there, that might be enough. Or if you're feeling like your balance is feeling pretty good today, you can take your heels off the floor and come into a full squat here. So pick the level that, you, that is right for you today. Okay, if you are in a squat, you're gonna need some strength in your legs. As you stand up, breathe in, stand strong, and then breathe out exactly the same with the arms. Take them out to the side, back to the original position. So choose the half squat, or the full squat as we go through a few repetitions of this. So breathe in, push down, move into half squat or full squat. Strength the legs as you rise up to standing, breathe in. Exhale, arms out to the side. 
So we'll do a few more of this part of the sequence. Breathe in, push down, breathe out. Breathe in, remember that strength for the legs as you rise up. Let the hands move out to the side, exhale. And all this breathing is through the nose. Breathe in, throat level with the hands, push down. Find your balance in that squat, we're going into full squat. Rising up, inhale, long stretch of the body. Bend the knees as you bring the arms down to your side. And again, breathing in. Throat level, breathe out, down you go. Breathing in, rise up. Breathe out, arms out, gentle bend in the knees. Lovely, okay, take the feet out to just beyond shoulder width apart. Hands up to throat level, breathe in. So another variation coming up. Push down, keep a bend in the knees as you go to, into a forward bend here. And then again, strong legs, push to the feet, the legs as you rise up. This wide stance, standing stretch. And then release the hands down, gentle bend in the knees. So this time it's not a squat, it's a forward bend. That's in the middle. Breathe in. Breathe out, push down, go to the forward bend that you feel like doing today. Could be halfway, could be fully down. And then rise up with strong legs and strong core muscles. Make sure they're engaged. And then bend the knees, bring your arms out to the side and all the way, all the way back to the original position. Breathing in, pushing down, rising up, breathing in, exhale, arms coming down. And again, breathing in, pushing down with the hands as you breathe out, standing tall as you inhale, set that circular motion with the arms coming out to the side like you're drawing a circle, all the way back to palms up, original position. Once more, breathing in, breathing out, forward bend. Breathing in, strength for the legs as you rise up, Taking the arms out to the side. Okay. Let your arms relax as we adjust the feet for the next part of the sequence. So the feet go slightly wider here. And your right foot is going to come out to a 90 degree angle. So it's side on with your mat. The left heel pushes back. So you're able to take your hips over to looking towards your right, left get my sides right, my left, okay, <laughs> um, and bend your knees, okay, so bend that left knee, okay, hold here, so you're facing this way, hips are facing this way, and the hands go to exactly where they were with uh, the previous um, parts of the sequence, they're underneath your belly button, and then as you raise the hands, you straighten that left knee, breathe in, push down, bend the left knee, Breathe in, raise the arms above you. You're straightening the left knee, and then you're taking the arms out to the side as you bend the left knee again. So the arm movements are the same, but just in a different standing position. Breathing in, raise the hands to throat level, push down, remember to bend the knee. Breathing in, straighten the knee, arms rise up, and then let the arms release out to the side as you bend that front knee, back to that starting position, We'll do one more to this side. Breathe in, push down, breathe in, straighten the knee, arms rise, and then release the hands down as you bend the front knee again. So knee is stacked over the ankle. And just before we move to the other side, take the palms above you, connect the palms together, relax the shoulders and pause here in warrior position. So hold strong, be strong for their legs. You feel totally in the moment with this position. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Lovely, okay. Adjust the feet so we're going in the other direction. The right side, okay. Bend the knee and again adjust that ankle so that you're able to face in this direction. Okay, and hands underneath the belly button, palms facing up, breathe in, straighten the knee, so exactly the same, just different side, push down, breathe out, arms rise, breathe in, hands out to the side, 
Breathe out, bend the knee. And just keep going, breathing in, pushing down, breathing out. Breathing in, hands rise, knee straightens. Breathe out, let the arms move out to the side. Breathing in, hands rise, push down, exhale, bend the knee. Let the arms rise above you, straighten that knee. Then you bend the knee again as you breathe out, arms coming out to the side, back underneath the belly button once more. Breathing in, hands rise, push down, breathe out. Breathing in, arms above you, hands out to the side. Slow, slow, take your time. And just to seal this part of the sequence on this side, come into warrior position with your palms clasped together. Knee bent so it's in line with the ankle, hold here. Feel that strength through your legs, thighs. Feel totally in this moment as you're standing in warrior. Position of strength, resilience, courage. Lovely. Okay. Let the hands come away from each other. Relax them down by your side. Feet face forwards, toes face forward. Just bring them in a little bit. And find that comfortable wide stance position. And then we're slowly going to come into a forward bend. So place your hands on your hips. Slowly come into that forward bend. Let the hands release, so the arms hang down. And all we're going to do here is swing the body from side to side. And you'll feel this movement in your lower back. It's a beautiful movement for releasing the lower back. Just let the body be heavy, let the arms be heavy. Swing the body from side to side. Bringing body to centre. Again, connect in with that middle point, that centre point, that still point. If your fingers are able to reach the floor, use that connection between your hands and, your, and the floor to settle you to ground you, to find that sense of presence and that sense of home. And then slowly, slowly, bend the knees and rise up to standing. Chin rises, roll the shoulders back a few times. Let the shoulders settle down. Feet step in, back to hip width apart. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Feel those hands really connecting with the abdomen, with your heart. Feel the breath entering your body, leaving your body, and the movement of your body as you breathe in and out. Every exhale you take, let the shoulders settle, let the legs settle. Find, find your stillness here. And as you stand here in stillness, notice how you feel right now after all our warm-up stretches, and particularly the earth sequence. How has that made you feel? Physically, emotionally, mentally? Where do you feel now than you were at the beginning of our practice this evening? If your eyes are closed, just gently open them. Release the hands from your heart, from your belly, and then what, in whatever way works for you, come down to seated. So we'll do one more position before we show you the film of Phoebe Boswell's exhibition. Um, we'll do a seated twist. So stretch your legs out in front of you, and here you're gonna need your abdominal muscle strength. So just engage that, those pelvic floor muscles, engage the abdominal muscles slightly, so it's not a sharp, 
contraction here, it's ever so slightly, so it gives you the strength to sit up tall and strong and relax your shoulders. And it's those muscles that are supporting you here rather than anything else. Okay? Then from this supported position, bend, doesn't matter which side, bend a knee, sole of the foot stays on the floor, and you could do the twist from this position, or you can take your foot across your leg, your straightened leg, and that will help you create a deeper twist, but if you feel yourself out of balance, out of kilter, you're lifting off the floor, um, then this version is not quite right for where you're at the moment, so take the first option, okay? So just either way you're gonna get the twist, so pick the option that suits you. Once you've found your position, opposite hand onto the knee, the free hand rises into the air, stretch it out in front of you, palm is facing away, breathe in, and as you breathe out, go halfway with your rotation. So you're taking the twist in the direction of this hand that's stretched out. And that twist, you might think, yep, I'm happy. I'm going to stay here with the twist. I'm feeling enough here. If you want to go further, breathe in again and go all the way back. Rest your hand behind you and gaze over the shoulder behind you. I'll show you from a side angle as well. And just check you're not leaning into your back hand or your back arm. It's those abdominal muscles that are holding you up here. Okay. And what you can do with your knee is, and your arm is you can tuck your knee into the inside of your elbow. And that might give you a deeper twist if you want to. Stay here. Breathe deeply into your abdominal muscles here. Breathe deeply into the abdomen of a tongue twist to that and what you'll feel is this pressure between your legs and your stomach muscles and that will be giving your uh, digestive system a massage a nice massage so close your eyes take those deep breaths and then open your eyes if they are closed Raise that back hand off the floor, untwist, untwist and twist, and come back to facing the front. And we're going to do that all over again on the other side. So I'll come back to facing you. So again, here on this side, choose um, whether you want to have your knee bent and your foot on this side of your straightened leg, or whether you want to cross over and just see how it feels. See what feels right for you. Remember, always listen to your body and choose the option that works for you. Opposite hand onto the knee. Sit up tall, relax the shoulders. Free hand comes into the air. Breathe in. Breathe out. Halfway. See if you want to go further. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take it all the way back if you feel that's good for you. And then you can, like we did on the other side, you can tuck the inside of your arm and the knee can connect together. So you tuck it in and you look over your back shoulder. What's tricky to do here is to keep your shoulders level. Just check whether you can get the shoulders as level as possible. And again, don't lean into the back arm. Use your core muscles. Activate those abdominal muscles. Use the strength of them to hold you here. And again, use that deep breathing to give your digestive system a massage. Okay. Lifting back hand off the floor. Untwist, slow, slow. Take your time. And then coming into cross-legged position or whatever seated position works. So you remember earlier we took the version, if you wanted to, with your legs straightened out or a looser cross leg position or the full seated position. Find that comfort here and place your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. And breathe deeply. Breathe so you can feel the belly muscles, the, be the belly, the abdominals 
rising up, expansion in that whole area as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, feel the belly settle. Again, breathe in. And this time, let the air out through your mouth, like you're sighing out, but it's a really soft, slow sigh. And I always find that really helps me settle. It's that long, slow release of air through the mouth. It really helps my whole body soften. So explore that for the next few breaths. Breathing in, feeling the belly area expand with breath, and then letting the air out through your mouth. And notice where you're softening. Breathing in again. Breathing out, using that exhale through the mouth to help you settle into this moment. As we move into relaxation, which we'll do in a moment, you can keep processing what you've seen. You can keep the images, the colors, the sound, everything you've experienced in the film with you into relaxation. So I invite you to do that. Or you can simply release it and allow your subconscious to process it. Either choice is fine. It's whatever feels right for you this evening. From the seated position, slowly, mindfully, gently, take yourself into lying down. If you need any blankets, cushions, anything you need to make your relaxation nest here. I like to call it a nest. You want to be as cosy as possible. Any extra layers you need, just have them with you now. Place them as you need to. And come into this lying down position. And I'm going to give you some choices here. You can lie and have your knees bent, soles of your feet on the floor, exactly as we started. Or you can stretch your legs out onto the mat. If you're taking this option, feet go shoulder width apart, heels in, toes out, and that looks after your spine as you lie here. If this causes any pain in your lower back, knees bent, go back to knees bent, take the pressure off your lower back. So you want to be comfortable. So choose the position that's most comfortable for you. Head rests heavy on the floor, and the hands are on your belly. Or if you prefer a more classic open position with Savasana, relaxation, you can have the palms open and facing up towards the ceiling. So again, comfort here is important. If it's more comfortable to have your hands in your belly, do that. A lot of choice to find what works for you. So once you've decided what Savasana position you want, settle here. And just before we completely settle, we're going to squeeze our muscles, all our muscles in our body, and then relax them a few times because that contraction and that relaxing, going from one to the other, really helps your muscles relax. Okay, it's magic for the muscles and helping them to relax. So from wherever you are, pull your toes in, squeeze all the way through your leg muscles, squeeze the buttock muscles in as well, pelvic floor muscles, abdominals, through to the shoulders, chest. You might even want to pull your shoulders up towards your ears. And what helps me here is I lift my arms off the floor, just a few centimeters, and I make fists with the hands, and I squeeze through the arms as well. And it's a full body squeeze. Breathe in, and then hold this squeeze. And as you sigh out, we've used this sighing breath a lot today, so as you sigh out, just go for that sigh, and flop down to the floor and just really release, just really let go of all your muscles as you flop down. We're going to do this twice more. So breathe in, squeeze through the muscles, exactly the same as the first squeeze. You can even add your face, you can scrunch up your face here, tighten up around the eyes, the cheekbones. It's amazing how much tension we build up in our facial muscles during the day. So this may surprise you as you focus on this. And then as you sigh out, 
release all the muscles and feel heavy on the ground. One last time to really go for it this time. So breathe in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Scrunch up the face, hold here. So it's like you've eaten something sour, really scrunch up the face. And then breathe out, sigh out, and let your whole body settle on the floor. And if you do prefer to have the hands back on your belly, place them back there. Okay, so coming into this stillness, this peaceful position. And you're going to stay here, but I'm going to sit up so I can take you through the next part of relaxation. But you stay exactly where you are. And again, we're going to focus on the breath. So as you breathe in, Fill your whole body gently with breath. As you breathe out through the nose, as you're lying down, let the air release through your body and imagine that it's sinking through your body into the earth. And then as you inhale gently again, it's as if you're pulling the air through the ground, through the earth, back into your body, feeling your body fill with that breath. It's all really gentle. And as you breathe out, the air moves through the body and back into the earth. And you have this really close connection with the ground of the earth as you're breathing in and breathing out. So breathing in, imagine. It's almost like you have roots through your body that are reaching into the ground and then pulling that air, that oxygen, gently through the ground into your body. As you breathe out, releasing through the body, the air goes back down through those roots into the earth. And continue that practice at your own pace, the pace of breathing that feels right for you, but do keep it slow and do keep it gentle. And that's all you need to do for the next three or four minutes. Just bringing that air into your body, through the earth, and then letting the air leave your body and settle into the ground. And with every exhale, feel more and more connected to the ground underneath you. Let the muscles become heavy, let the head completely relax onto the ground and feel that softening to every single part of your body. And even feel that softening through your heart and through your belly as well. So I'll let you do this in silence for the next three or four minutes and then you'll hear my voice again as I bring you out of relaxation. So enjoy the stillness. It's all you need to do.
imagine yourself in this place of peace, keeping yourself in this place of home, of tranquility, feeling that calm within yourself. Hold on to that. Hold on to that even as we slowly ease ourselves out of this relaxation. Be still, be present. Hold on to that sense of peace. Slightly deepen your breath. And begin to move your fingers and your toes ever so slightly. Don't rush this. Take your time. And if you want to, you can go back to that full stretch that we did at the beginning of the session where you take your arms above your head and you stretch through the body, long and tall, feeling that stretch through the arms and the fingertips, right through the legs and into the toes. And then hug your knees into your chest. Find your way there, where your knees are bent, and you've got your, hu your knees hugged into your chest. Keep the eyes closed, arms wrapped around your legs, and gently rock from side to side, easing out the lower back. Remember to keep your eyes closed. Stay in this place. And then slowly roll over towards your right, your right side. Place your hands underneath your head like you're having a nap on your right side. Keep the knees bent. Keep the eyes closed. I'm going to keep reminding you that because there's a temptation to open the eyes as you come out of relaxation, but keep them closed. Pause here for a moment. And just check in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling right now, what's shifted from the beginning of this session to now, what feels different physically, emotionally, mentally. Where is it that you've found that sense of home within yourself? What is it from the exhibition that's staying with you? Processing all those experiences gently, easily. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly rise up, up to seated, legs crossed if you want to. And here we're going to give ourselves a big hug. So you're going to cross your arms in front of you, opposite hand onto the opposite shoulders, chin to chest, and slightly squeeze the shoulders here. So feel that pressure between your hands and your shoulders, chin relaxing down. Just give yourself this hug. Feel the stability of your arms wrapped around you. I am here. I am home. I am here. I am home. Move your hands down. So that on your upper arms, again, squeeze slightly with the pressure of your hands on those upper arms. And once again, say to yourself, I am here, I am home. I am here, I am home. Bring the hands down lower onto your forearms. Another bit of pressure here, squeeze in. I am here, I am home. I am here, I am home. Bring the palms together and let the thumbs just touch your heart center. 
feel that connection between your thumbs, your hands, and your heart. And once again, I am here, I am home. I am here, I am home. It is all within me. your hands separate and bring your hands into your eye so one palm on each eye and just ever so slightly press with your hands around the outer edges of your eyes so you'll like gentle pressure that will massage the eyes holding here Connecting with your sense of presence and home and everything that means to you within yourself. Slowly open the eyes and take the hands away and bring them to rest onto your knees. Welcome back. Hopefully, you are feeling calmer, rested, and you've had a chance to explore what home and belonging and here means for you through the yoga, through our digital wonder, through Phoebe Boswell's hair. And you can take some of that away with you. And we are looking forward to welcoming you back into the building when we can reopen, when you can see that exhibition actually in person. That brings us to the end of yoga and art today. Thank you so much for joining me. Do take all the good things you're experiencing into the rest of your evening. Make sure you drink water, make sure you keep yourself hydrated and give yourself an early night tonight so you can take the full, full benefits of what you've experienced today. I would really like to thank the technical team behind the scenes for helping me bring this to you today. And do let us have any feedback about anything you've experienced today. That feedback is always really useful, always good to hear. Um, and I hope that you will visit us when we open for more yoga and art. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and we will see you soon.